happens in between the cleaning, guys. This is what happens. Hiya. So I'm in the writing room in the middle of the afternoon and I'm actually getting ready to write. So Matt and I, I was going to talk to you guys about it the other night, but I didn't. Um, we are actually starting a newer schedule for us. We're actually starting to get up earlier, get in some cardio, um, because I have been reading that when you get up and you do exercise in the morning, not only does it help motivate you, but it's also supposed to help reduce stress, kind of put those uh, happy endorphins and stuff going through your system. So it's something that I wanna try and work on, because I told you I've been working on that personal goal of being a less reactive parent. Um, through my chart, which speaking of which, I'm gonna show you something. So what I'm talking about is my chart I've been showing you guys, if you're new to the channel, where I work on this personal goal and basically I broke my day up into hours. So if I can make it till this time not being reactive, then I give myself a star on the chart. And then this time and this time, I broke it up to four parts during the day. Exercise is supposed to help with that. It's supposed to help with being less reactive. So pretty excited to start it. We didn't get our workout in today. We actually had to go pay our house taxes. Fun, fun, huh? Not really. Anyway, and then they were $50 more than what they we thought they were supposed to be, which we were like, <sighs> so anyway, something we have to look into because we're pretty sure we've made a payment actually for our house taxes to the bank back in September and they're not showing that September payment. So now we need to see if our bank actually processed it to something else and not our house tax. What we're trying to do though, besides that is early in the day, get some of the things like my writing knocked out, stuff like that, the kids school, which they're on spring break right now. So yes, but get the kids schooling in, stuff like that, and then concentrate on some of those other goals that I have on my list. Now, yesterday I did not hit near as much as I wanted to because we were on the move and busy. But there are a lot of things that I think that I can still do today. I told you I'm on this Easter cleanup, getting the house company ready. So after I get my writing time in, that's what I'm gonna be working on. Anyway, so I'm gonna get that writing in and then we're gonna hit some of these focus areas and see what I can get done today on this new, sort of new schedule. I got writing done in the middle of the day with the kids awake running around and I was using some of the tips that I've learned from, I've been listening to a late, not listening to her, but reading some of her articles. She also has videos out. Um, her name is Dr. Laura Markham, not the same as Dr. Laura Schleisinger. And she works with parents becoming less reactive. And I took some of the advice that she had put out there today when working on being less reactive. You know, easy times for me to become reactive are when I'm focused on trying to get something done and there's been a hundred interruptions. And so it's really easy for me to become a reactive parent then. So instead of doing that, I just kept reminding myself, whatever's being asked about isn't an emergency. And if there was whining, to ignore it, to just ignore it and just try to continue to talk calmly and help the child help themselves work through it. And it worked. It worked. I've almost made it to the second part of my day goal, that time frame, without being reactive and trying to write and deal with a bunch of questions and a bunch of needs and wants. And it's a lot of wants can turn into a reactive situation. Like, just give me time. Just let me have 20 minutes. Give me 20 minutes. And instead of saying that, I kept validating the issue that the child had going on, but 
didn't respond. There was no way for me to solve what they wanted taken care of, but there was a way for me to not become reactive and continue to get the work I needed to get done because it was one of those situations that for me is very frustrating as a parent when I want to be able to help make the situation better, but I don't have the power to do that without being unfair to other children in the house. So, or sometimes I just don't have the power because what's being asked for is not something that I can give. So, yeah, score one for Dr. Laura Markham's advice and for day writing, you guys. Day writing, now I don't know, I'm editing. So I don't know how actual trying to write and plot is gonna work for the day, but I do know that for editing, so far this has been okay. Over the last couple of days, we've been really busy if you've been watching the vlogs. And so the housework schedule went out the window. Literally, nothing was done housework wise. There were some things accomplished, but lots of housework things not done. So I need to get this house Easter ready and I need to get some of these things done. That's what I'm gonna hit. First of which, those beds are getting tackled upstairs. Fun, 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 fun. the cleaning guys this is what happens <laughs> tea is that a cabbage patch no <laughs> i like to see What are we playing? You picked. Operation. Yeah, operation, Wait, you guys. No, operation. I said it wrong. Uh, what'd you say? I said operation. Was this hurt, doctor? Not at all. All right, I've got to go for the rubber band, and I don't know if I can get this. She buzzed the last time. I did buzz the last time. Oh! oh. <laughs> she buzzed. You guys have to go in for that butterfly look at it. Why did he eat that stuff? Ooh. He's got butterflies in his stomach. Yes, and uh -huh, he, get it? He, <laughs> <laughs> and he also has a Charlie horse, which is actually a horse. Mm -hmm. And then he has a little bump to Water on his knee. Yeah, and then there's a wrench in his foot. And there's a rubber band in him. There's also an apple. For his Adam's apple? Yes. And a broken heart. And there's that. Wishbone. Wishbone. And his ribs. He ate a pencil. He did. And it landed in his hand. <laughs> Maybe he has writer's cramp. <laughs> okay, come on, butterfly. Oh, yeah, you got it. We are having so much fun, and guess what? Um, the wrench is like sensitive, it and is. mom. Horse, Charlie horse, mom show them. <laughs> yeah, look at this, you guys. I cannot get this Charlie horse. Where's it at? Fat thing. There it is. I cannot get him. Can I show it? Where's he at? He's hiding in his boxers. There he is. I can't get him. Look how far in he you is. You guys, we're lucky though. We don't have the pencil yet. <laughs> no, the pencil is the hardest. Oh, it rolls around. It should be worth a thousand, but it's worth three hundred. So how'd we turn out? Okay, um, so, um, Bob got the pencil out. Yeah, which is so hard. And her Charlie horse. Mm-hmm. And I got my bridge out. She it does. It was, like, sensitive, right, Mom? It was very. Yeah, so, um, I beat her by a hundred, was it one hundred? Mm-hmm. One hundred dollars. What did you have? I had 2,600 and you had 2,700. That's 2,700. So she beat me by a thousand or a hundred dollars. You're a great doctor. All right guys, so I just need to give you an update. I'm actually getting ready to head to bed early night tonight so I can get up early. I was so excited to get that writing in like and get it in during the day 
and then just have it done for the day and not worry that I wasn't going to get my writing time in because sometimes later in the evening as kids are getting tired and stuff, it can be hard to get in there and get it done unless I'm up really late. So it was awesome to get it done in the afternoon when I had some quiet time and when the kids were kind of occupied and they weren't grouchy because they weren't overtired, I got it done. And I got just as much, if not more, as I would have gotten done writing in the evening. So that was great. But I wanted to show you and give you an update on where I ended up at the end of the evening because I have a very, very proud moment for myself. And it's this. You see the four stars across the top? I hit all of my non-reactive goals tonight. Not being reactive, even though there were situations today that normally would have tested me in being a reactive parent, and I made it. I made it all day. I didn't make it on this day. I had one star that I missed on Monday. But on Tuesday, today, I made it. And I'm proud of that. That's awesome. So maybe tomorrow I'll fill all four again. But yeah, I accomplished a lot of things tonight that I wouldn't normally accomplish without having this up here or I would forget that I wanted to accomplish and then scramble to try to do it. So one of the things I didn't get to tonight that I want to make a point of getting to tomorrow is to get some items posted to my Poshmark and Depop accounts because having more items go on there frequently is a lot better. Having any store you have, having variety is a good thing. So. I want to get those done tomorrow for sure and then hit a couple of the other things that I didn't get to. And I was off my laundry for the last few days, you guys, like not on my regular laundry schedule. So I have two people's laundry that was behind, but I kind of had to push it aside to make sure we had towels washed today. So tomorrow I'm going to try to make up on this laundry between tomorrow and the next day. But that's the great thing about this is that, and you can hear a train in the background, is I can look on here and see what I didn't accomplish and some of the things that, okay, maybe I didn't get it done this day, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to still hit that another day and make up for what I didn't get done. So, and where can I let other things slide or maybe not take as much time in those, those other areas so that I can get some of those other things accomplished. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.